Hi, I am going to be doing a card and I'm going to be using the um, Indigo Blue Lady Fortescue Clockwork Cottage, those stamps that were released at the end of January. I'm going to be doing some masking and then I will be doing some um, what I call loose watercolouring. So I hope you enjoy the video and stay with me. Thank you very much. I'm going to put the camera down and let's see what we're doing. So these are the stamps that I'm using. We have Clockwork Cottage, Lady Fortescue, Wells House, Feltwell Road. This is the house that I want to live in with Sir Henry Fortescue. Isn't he very dashing? Can you see without the, uh, the plastic shiny? So I've got some card. I've got some perfect stamping card, indigo blue, and I've got a craft card, card base, which measures five by seven. These are for stamping some sentiments. This is for putting my uh, actual image on. So my card base is five by seven and my piece of white cardstock is six and three quarters by four and three quarters. So I'm gonna be doing some masking today. So these are all my masks that I've already done and I literally stamped them out onto a piece of, um, you know, copy paper for the printer and cut them out. Now I've not done this, um, however, if you cut out just in the image a little bit, you don't get such a, um, a divide between the two images that you're trying to stamp. So mine might give me a little bit of a gap, but if it does, I'll show you what I do. So I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna stamp Lord Fortescue. I want him to be uh, in the very front. So I'm using Versafine Claire and I'm then going to um, heat emboss it with some clear. So he is going about there roughly. Now some people use a stamping platform. I don't very often, but I am working on a glass mat and I know that sometimes the it kind of dips a little bit. So hopefully I'll get a good clear image. There he is. So a little tub of clear embossing powder mine's got a few bits in it now if you get that it gets like that you can always put it through do you remember the old tea strainers and that gets rid of all the little bits for you so i am going to have to put my heat gun on so bear with me got a couple of uh, these masks so I've cut out the actual image itself which is this one and then I've cut out just him so if I wanted just to have him uh, somewhere I could so I am now going to use let's take him off and I want a lady looking over his shoulder so I need to find her mask Oh, sorry, his mask. Let me put this there. And she's going to go this side. She's a strong woman, you can tell just by the way she walks. Oh, I've got a bit of a dirty stamp there, look. Never mind. So, some more clear embossing. Again, just need to put my heat gun on quickly. So 
So next, what are we going to put on here? We need to have a house, don't we? We also need, I think, some of the steampunk. So if I put this on, this will get rid of the bit of dirt that's here that I've got on the side of my image. I need to use my stamp, my mask, stamped mask even, for her. And I'm literally just going to have a bit of this, hmm, just there, around her. Okay. And now I want his mask. And I think, hopefully that won't fall off again. And I'm going to put this kind of down here. So again, clear embossing. So if I clear emboss this, it means that when I put some paint on it and watercolour the image using the indigo blue paints, the actual ink isn't going to run. just put some clouds in the back so there are clouds on the stamp with lady in it and then there's another little stamp a little cloud stamp in one of the others so I am going to do this maybe here I have got a cloud mask somewhere on the top stamp it again We'll be putting a sentiment on as well so that's going to go somewhere down here and I'm going to stamp that now whilst I've got the heat gun and everything out so an ordinary life can be extraordinary or you're the man I think I'm going to go with an ordinary life can be extraordinary so the other sentiment in the other stamp is new home and new memories, new beginnings, that kind of a stamp. And the other one in with Henry Fortescue says, you're the man. Now, again, I'm gonna heat emboss it. I'm not worried about the shadow on it. I'm gonna cut it anyway. Now, I might just do that twice, simply because I'm not sure if I want it in one or whether I want it in two or three so let's have a look didn't clean that that well did I he comes hot hot Until I've decided what to put along the bottom I might just literally put this make this onto some cardstock and put it there to get rid of this big straight edge although I am going to be watercoloring it so let's move my stamps out of the way and get some colors on my I've got a paint mat to the side of me So, 
I'm going to use Mulberry Bush, my favourite. These are pretty much my favourite colours. No, my sorry. Oh, no, this is leather corset. I probably do want a bit of leather corset. You can see you don't need very much. That's probably way too much mulberry bush there. Bit of yellow okra. So these are translucent paints and they will blend and they will mix. And I want a blue, so have I got. No, I had Sargasso Sea here earlier. Somewhere. It was on my desk. Now it's done one of those disappearing acts. So, you know, I'm going to use Teal for two. And then, I don't know if you can see, I've obviously upset some paint somewhere along the line, so just give my hands a little clean. I don't know if you like me, I'm very, very good at getting smudgy marks on my work, which is what we don't want. So I'm going to add a drop of water with each of these, so I've... Now these colours will give us purple, they will give us green. again I do know what I'm like I'm such a mucky pup look I rest my case look at my uh there we are <clears throat> so I need some clean water and I am just literally gonna start off with my man stamp or my man image I should say and I'm literally just coloring it in with clear water so that when I put some of this on the water is going to move itself. It's going to move the colour around. Now I call this loose water colouring because I don't make sure that I've got like every detail. You can hear a noise. It's because I've got a tortoise at my feet. She won't hibernate, so... This bit in here to be green. So I'm going to put in some blue, teal for two, and then add some of the yellow okra. And that should give me a bit of a greeny. There's that green, that lovely green. So he's like Joseph with a coat of many colours. A bit more blue up here. There's so many details on these stamps that if you are somebody that likes to colour, then there's so much to actually colour in. Oop, got pink on my on her face, like I don't really want that. So I'm just going to dab at that a little bit. And let's paint. Let's do her hair. She's going to have blonde looks. I'm 
make her a little bit purple as well. Now I'm going to dab at that yellow on her hair a little bit because I actually want it to be a little bit brighter than that. So I'm going to get my paint out again and just put a little bit in this edge here. See, I must be on a little bit of a slope because uh, my paint is running there. But I'm going to give him just a little bit of and her. Oh, she's got a bit too much blush on, hasn't she? So I'm going to quickly go in with some water and try and water that down a little bit. Oh. My goodness. And his has dried a little bit, so he has just a little bit of colour in. Now, I think around, I'm going to get a little bit of a bigger brush. A little bit of this brown but I think I want a little bit more I don't want it to be too dark I just want it to kind of be like a like a wash really and then when it's dry if you want some bits to be a little bit darker I might pick out some of his swirls and stuff in a minute And then I think I'm just going to give a bit of a wash around. Sorry, my dogs are barking up. My neighbours. My neighbour's dogs. We have somebody that's moved in and uh, just a couple of doors up and she's brought quite a few dogs with her so they're not all used to each other yet. So now do I want to pick out some of this? What I'm going to do is give this a quick blast with a heat gun. leather corset with a finer brush, a little drop of water and I'm gonna kind of pick out some I'm going to do the same in a minute with some of the pink and the blue. I might mix it together before I put it on. Just to give me a little 
darker because he's not looking as though his clothes are that bright. So I don't know if you can see them on camera or not. And if I put a smidgen, I use my smallish of two for two on there. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? That's a, just a beautiful purple. And I'm just going to wipe my hands first. Oh, I'll end up with splodges everywhere. some of these gorgeous swirls not the same everywhere just gonna do a few bits like I said this is quite a loose coloring I it's not something I do a lot of and if I do color then it is usually with watercolors and Very much like this. So just to pick him out a little bit. And now I'm going to do the same on the lady. I don't think that it's light enough for me around so I'm going to I'm not sure where I'm going to put this in I'm going to need a bit of some other colours just to kind of Brighten it up a little bit. Give him a bit of yellow there as well. There's a little tuft there, but that didn't actually. That's as much as I'm going to do with that. I'm going to move this paint so I don't put my hands in it. Give it a quick little blast so it's really dry. I'm going to stick it onto my card base. So it's going to go on here with a little bit of sentiment on. It helps when you undo it, doesn't it? So this is the grab and go. This is great glue, she says. That's the button I didn't put the lid on properly earlier. There we are. Bit. 
Hmm, I need to bring my paint back in. And it has all kind of run. My table must be on a slope. However, oh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do one kind of. Purples. And one with the blue. Maybe a bit of yellow in there. To see which I like. I'm going to cut them out. So I just need to. Kind of like them both, but I'm guessing that that probably goes a little bit better. So I am going to stick that on as well. Spread the glue just a little bit. An ordinary life can be extraordinary. And then I'm just going to use my black fine liner. To go around the edge. Do I want to outline the whole thing? I think it kind of needs to be outlined, so. Just a squiggly outline, just going around it. Just thinking then, shall I do two? I'm going to do two and see what. Oop, went off the page, never mind. So just a quick, simple card. With a little masking technique. So, hope you like it. Let me bring it up a bit so you can see. Very loosely watercoloured. Thank you very much for staying with me. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.